Alrighty, good evening everybody. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon's Dogma 2 for the Xbox Series S. This is part 2. So I did a stream yesterday for the launch of the game. And so far we've made it to the capital in the game. So it's pretty similar to the first game's layout it seems like. So I'm excited, I'm ready to jump back into the game. And... See where it takes us. See how similar the other parts of it are to Dragon's Dogma 1, I guess. Still pretty good game, though, overall. I do like it. I wish it ran better on here, but it is what it is, I guess. At least it's not a cyberpunk. <laughs> no game crashes yet, so that's good. Oh, and look at that. When you load your game, it's, it, it reminds you of your objective here. Is it the Star Drop Inn at night? Okay. Let's speak with the captain. Yeah, so where do we leave off here? We got a bunch of goblins here. This battle ought to be an off phase. Try not to get hit, lest all that boom go to waste. Right into combat here. Got him. Oh, over here. You fool! There we go. Oh, you got your Electron Shepard in? Nice. Have you had a chance to try it yet? Ooh, pummeled them. What the hell is this? Hello. Somebody on Kick says, Hello, buddy. I came across your video. Seems like you were new to Kick. No, I'm not new to Kick. I've been on here for months since the website was almost basically brand new. Yeah, I don't really care about growing my channel. I just want to have fun. I don't really give a shit about all that stuff. I multi-stream, so whether it grows or not, it's like, whatever. I just come on here to have fun. I stream all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I know, Dark. <laughs> He's probably already gone. He's just so like spamming people to. No oh, here I got this. It might not even be legit. It might be a scam or something. I don't know. There's a lot of scams on Discord. Like I said in my back of my test stream. Pretty ironic that we just had a conversation about scammers on Discord, and then here comes somebody. Oh, I'm gonna. I can grow your channel artificially. Yeah. No. I'm good. Lots of YouTubers and other streamers do that stuff. I really don't care. All right, let's make our way back to the town here, and then uh, see if we can pass some time. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. I'm not stopping 
Yes, yeah, so I gotta wait until night time and then speak with the captain at the at the uh, Star Drop Inn. Is this the uh, Star Drop Inn? Right in here? No, this is the... some other inn. Okay. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await right in us here? Above. Yeah, here we go. This is where I need to meet him. Right inside of here. Okay, so I can wait on a bench, right? And that passes time. I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beastrons. Truly? Why? But it's only specific benches. It's got to have one with a, uh, like a blanket on it or something. Kind of reminds me of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, where you gotta sit on a specific bench in order for uh, Leonardo da Vinci to appear. Here's one. Well, it's still daytime. Here we go. There's the captain. Your Majesty. Your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray. Let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce nice low res textures on him. What the hell's that? Few would elect to doubt her. Yet, if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. Off we go then. There are beasts to be slain. All right, we got ourselves a little fetch there quest then. No challenge to which we cannot rise. Okay, so I guess we'll tackle the one down here first, and then we can go down the other side and do the other two. Let's see exactly where they're at here.
Yep, they're all quite a, way, a ways away. All right, so we got a bit of a journey ahead of us then. Let's have a look then. Maybe I should stock up if I can find the general store. See where I'm at on items. gold nice why does everything look like a Nintendo 64 texture all of a sudden like it's not drawing things incorrectly it must be a glitch. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Yeah, even on here, it looks like everything looks just kind of muddy. Much obliged. It looks like this is like the kind of texture you would see from far away, not right up close. What's happening? Just some texture glitches. I mean, look at these muddy textures. It's like, um, it's not drawing them in correctly. It's not loading the, uh, higher resolution textures. Like it thinks I'm far away from it. Everything looks like that. Everything looks like it's all, like, Nintendo 64 textures all of a sudden. I have no idea why. Looks like my game's quality just, like, went down to, like, ultra low. <laughs> and I have no idea why. It's gotta be some kind of a... Texture glitch. Why there, friend? Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead, and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Okay. Splendid. I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Wouldn't be an RPG without a um. Carts only depart <laughs> at certain hours of the day. But without I a fetch the quest. Time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. Again, these textures just oh my god. Oh, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice. And I would advise against trying any funny business. Each car travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? In case it encounters any monsters out on the road. So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennart. Then come find me when the job's done. 
Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time, seeing as you're doing me a favor and all. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Warning regarding quest progression. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once comes with the risk of being unable to act in time, and this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quests and taking on new ones. We need only deliver it to the intended recipient. Alright, let's do that first then. Oh my god. What did you do to this poor animal game? It falls on me to resolve this. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their costs. You like the Electron Shepherd so far, but Reckless is all fucked up when I run it in HD. Other games work as far as I know. So it only it only works in standard definition, but as soon as you try to run it in HD, it fucks up. That's kind of weird. This ox bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Ox carts. Ox carts are a relatively safe means of traveling between towns. Their services are available at regular intervals for a fair sum of gold. You need only visit an ox cart station, pay the fare, and climb aboard. The ox will do the rest. How you spend the journey is up to you. You can enjoy the scenery rolling slow by, or doze off and make the road feel much shorter. Oxcart raids and monster attacks are not unheard of, however, so it is always advisable to be prepared for battle, just in case. There's a ladder here. After you are risen. All right, so are we heading off or what? We're setting out. Doze off. One speed only. Boarded an ox cart. Oh shit! What the fuck? Uh, I think we got bigger problems than worry about being soaked. Damn. Well, my main pawn's already dead. This did not... This is not going well. <laughs> Jesus. We got Oregonians here, too. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. What happened? I think the game crashed. <laughs> Modern AAA games, ladies and gentlemen. I'm soft locked. I can't do anything. Oh, there we go. I had to open up the Xbox button and uh, then reload the game. Go back into the game. I thought I would have had to quit out of the whole game. What the fuck was that? The game got confused. Oh. Okay. Didn't save anything I did at all. Not a single bit of it. That's great. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. What's going on, Sheldon? 
All right, so now I got to talk with the captain again. And I'm just going to try and skip that since I've already done this. Your Majesty, it is not a matter for priny. As I informed, should Disa deny, yet if we are, to, it was delayed. The central player, none, would only. Next, 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 next. We already heard you. Citizenry, what say you? I thank you. The first is Trey, but next is half. Finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, now his now his textures actually loaded in correctly. They don't look like N64 textures anymore. Yeah, so the game was definitely all glitched out. Reloading the save file fixed it. I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the local. Oi there, friend. All I ask is that you hear my request. My thanks, sir. I've been holding off. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about. That's where you are. My I'd God. Like to accompany the Splendid now. And mind you, don't each car My phone keeps trying to get me to update to uh, iOS 17.4.1. I'm like, I don't care. No, I don't want to update. It works fine right now, so why would I update? The more it nags me to update, the less I want to update. <laughs> it just makes me think like Apple's trying to like screw up my iPhone. Hey, get get this new update so we can screw around with your phone. Why? Works just fine on 17.4. If I didn't, and I wouldn't have even updated to 17.4 if it wasn't for the fact I, w I needed to download an app. I had to uh, be on iOS 17.2 or later. I was still on the last version of 16. Just never bothered updating. Until was, uh, there was an app I wanted on my phone. Oh, my, my watch buzzed me and said that, hey, uh, it, it said um, a 17, iOS update 17.4.1 is now available. I'm like, yeah, okay. Good for you. For some reason, it keeps trying to get me to update. I don't know why. Hey, look, it actually looks correct now. Perhaps I should, um, save before we set out. I wonder if it's going to do that every time or if that's random that that happens. What ought I to do? This ox cart's bound for Mel. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. A ladder, is it? How convenient. Okay, the NPC is stuck inside of that thing. Just gonna doze off so we can fast forward here since I think he's uh, messed up. Well, this is a different enemy, I think. Jesus. Oh my god! This tale has ended. Yeah, I'd say so. Dude, there's no way I can kill this thing. Do I have to, like, do this quest later? Because I don't have... I'm not strong enough to take this thing on right now.
Maybe I have to come back to this one later. Alright, let me head to my main objective then. It's to the road to the uh, the right of me, okay. What the hell is that thing? A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry. A griffin. Very angry griffin. Running around in circles for some reason. Why are you attacking it? It didn't attack me. Jeez, I was just looking at the damn thing. I don't even think we can kill this thing anyway. Great going, you idiots. Fall back, and I will heal you with my magics. Yeah, you can, can, yeah, you're getting yourself killed. Good job. I don't even have any good weapons to hit enemies in the air like that. Well, you're on your own. See ya. You pissed it off. I'm getting out of here. Went and got yourself killed, you dumb fuck. Well, I didn't know they could carry your companions. That's cool. You are a burden. Next time, leave things alone. Cool. Yeah, it got bored. It took off. It's like, ah, oh, these these guys aren't even worth my time. Okay, so I should be able to get to my objective from this road, probably, right? No, that just loops around. What about down this way? Well, there's a chest down here. 90 rift crystals, nice. So, Sheldon, I don't know if you ever played the first Dragon's Dogma game. I have, but it's been a long time since I played it. On another note... We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. We've no need of a thief if we're content to Yeah, and just like the first games, I, I think force. your companions are just never gonna shut the fuck up. Seeker's token. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out-of-the-way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall and you will receive special rewards now and then as your collection progresses. You must leave no stone unturned, nor corner of the world unexplored if you would complete your collection. Yeah, so, um, to hell with that. Tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine lurk in deep waters, rivers, lakes, and the sea, and will instantly consume anyone or thing that wades into their mists. 
If this fate befalls the Arisen, they will be revived momentarily, but they are the exception. Pawns will become forfeit, and all other living creatures are met with an immediate watery death. The water just kills you. Well, that's lame. So did I just lose my companion? Wow, that's incredibly lame. So I can't even cross this shallow little riverbank here. Are you serious? And I just lost my companion too. Yeah, so fuck that. This may get game of the year. I mean, it's pretty early to judge if a game's going to get game of the year or not. I don't even care what games get game of the year. I judge games for myself. I don't really care what anybody else thinks. Oh, of course. It decides to save your companion dying. Yeah, it wouldn't save me starting a quest, but it'll save your companion dying. Yes, how convenient. Great, okay, well, she's gone. That's great, that's cool. So you can't swim at all, which sucks. Well then, how the hell am I supposed to get over there, then? I have to go all the way around just to get on that bridge and then cross over? That's stupid. Shallow water, and I can't cross it. Oh, I don't want to go into that puddle. I might drown. Did I complete the first one? I don't remember. Probably not. I don't know. It's been too long. If I did, I don't remember doing it. If I'm being honest, so far, I actually prefer the first one. I remember the general gameplay of it, but I don't really remember too much of the story. It is a chest. I shall take a look inside. I remember the beginning of the game because it was pretty iconic to me. Okay, well, I guess I have to go to a, a rift crystal zone or whatever they're called. And, um... I need to get another companion, because mine's dead. get pretty much the same as what I had before. Same kind of class and everything.
they've got a good amount of uh, abilities and stuff. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? All right. Yeah, so I, w I didn't expect to level up so quickly in this game, though. The gist of it is, when pawns travel beyond the rift, we can contract a peculiar illness that imperils the lives of those around us. At first, we are only restless and excitable. But in time, we become so unruly that even the Arisen holds no sway over us. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. Dead Rising is your favorite Capcom game? Uh, yeah, I don't really play too much of the Capcom stuff, honestly. This one's the only one I really got into was the Dragon Dogma games. That wasn't a hard copy line, did you? I can feel it in the back of my head. Goblins, Master! Damn. Two for one there. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. One thing that does kind of annoy me with this game is like sometimes your character will randomly like slow down if you're just kind of walking. Very well, I shall lend you my aid. I didn't even speak to you. Um Yeah, your character will like randomly slow down if you're not sprinting, which I don't know why they do that. At first I thought there was something like wrong with my controller, but no, it's just the game. I, learned that I, forgot I don't know why it does that. Shall I Even if you're not really like stuck on anything, sometimes it'll just randomly do that. Using the go command immediately after a pawn makes a suggestion will prompt them to follow through with their idea. What idea? I wasn't even paying attention. Usually I just end up ignoring your pawns because they just spout the same like three lines over and over again. No doubt they're going to do that a lot in this game too. Using the go command immediately after a pawn makes a suggestion will prompt them to follow through with their idea, whether that be an offer to guide you to a location or to assist you with a task. Pawns are helpful creatures by nature, and allowing them to guide and assist you will doubtless benefit your adventures. Um, okay. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. Oh, really? Oh, she's good. So she's got quest knowledge with us. So anyway, Sheldon, if you're wondering what's going on right now, we're uh, we're on our way to a furry convention because we've got a bunch of furries here. Follow me. <laughs> well, my entire party is just furries, so we we just have to kill the haters along the way. So we got these trolls over here that we need to get rid of. We need to ban them. Alright, so I'm just going to follow her, because apparently she knows exactly where she's going to go. We've arrived just as planned. I was going to say, what do you mean we've arrived? No, we haven't. Pray, 
Allow me to open your chest. I for a second there I thought she said allow me to open your chest. I'm like, what? Allow me to open your chest. Oh shit. Get over here. Got it. Oh, there's more goblins. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. All right, keep leading the way here. I shall do as you say. We're here, and none the worse for wear. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Bash his head right into a wall here. So that seems to be the best way to go about dealing with the shielded enemies. You just pick them up. Pick them up and throw them. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Yeah, by climbing. I can't grab onto that top one, though. Yeah, my objective is right inside of this mine somewhere. Proceed into the depths. Narrow passages may await us. Be on your guard. I am well aware of the particulars. Forgive me, but I cannot guide you from here. Upper ore. Another encounter? I feel like this. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. Avoid flame at any cost arisen. You have been doused in oil. Ow. Jeez, there's so many of them.
two-hander. Common Iron Greatsword, sturdy and easily handled. It is off the first hilt grasped by warriors in training. But obviously then I can't have my shield. And it's actually worse than what I have right now. In terms of overall power. Jeez. Wow. Okay, I did not know those were explosive barrels. Help here would be nice. There you go. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any ability to heal. I should have rested before I left. Ah. Uh. Okay, interesting spot to resume from. Jesus. That was well Somehow that did not hurt me, though. Yeah, I was just out of range of the explosion radius. I don't know. I don't know how that didn't hurt me. Explosive arrows. Which I can't use because I'm not an archer. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a fun fight. Oh, you can barely heal at all. Got it, though. is as broken as it seems, then I'm afraid with no recourse but to find another way around. 
nothing else for it, I suppose. No, there's definitely something else here. Task is complete. Oh, okay. Well said. Let us proceed to the next location. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here, Arisen? No, we gotta return to town. We were to make for Har Village, as I recall. Tis not far from here. Our foes are like to use the dark against us. Anything in here? I never can have too many of these. Ooh. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. Sounds like some kind of uh, elixir. Am I going the right way? Doesn't look like it. I think I gotta go this way. Yeah. Bank. Can I get out from here? One can never have too many materials. I'll harvest some now. Why is there an explanation point here? I don't see anything else here. What does the explanation point mean? It's taking every ounce of my strength just to remain standing. Will this march never end? I only hope we don't encounter any. I don't know. I don't know what the hell this is pointing to. I did not want to tackle her. What the fuck? I didn't even know you could do that. I wanted to grab onto this. Instead, I tackled her. Why would you be able to tackle your allies? What the fuck? Tis broken, but methinks there is still a way forward here. Good to know if I ever want them to shut the fuck up, though, I'll just tackle them and shove their face into the ground. Silver ore, nice. Oh, great. I ill like this. We are already on the fire. Yeah, I, I can't even fight these guys. I'm too weak. I need to rest.
We're heading down this way and see if I can get out out of this damn cave. Went to another dragon drug dog in the stream, and the dude had a camera. Yeah, I know that's it's such a gimmick. Every streamer's got to have a camera. They you got to see what they look like every at every time, at every point, and every moment. I don't get it. I don't get what the obsession with cameras is. Like, well, you're playing a video game. Like, why do you why do you need to see my face? I mean, you know what I look like, so it's like I don't get it. It just takes up room on the screen for the uh, user interface. You gotta constantly move it, and it blocks off certain things, and it's just, it's stupid. I don't understand it. Like, for vlogs and stuff, a camera, you know, you want a good camera, but when you're just playing a video game, why do you have to have a camera on? I've never understood that. Every streamer does it, and I just don't get it. I'll lead the way. These humans? Yeah. I am attentive and loyal and prefer yeah, good for to you. Be by your side. Every pawn stops you to Try to get you to hire it's them. I master. don't know why they do that. I think you can have two companions, though. I think you can have your main pawn and then two support pawns. I think. I think that's how it was in the first game. If I remember right. So maybe that's why they're all stopping me to try to get me to hire them. All I know is my archer must be a badass because she's barely lost any health at all. I actually want to go this way. See, that's the problem with this game at night. You you literally can't see a damn thing. Over here, if you please. No, I want to go back to the town. Thanks, anyways. I mean, I appreciate that she's, like, leading the way, because I can't see shit, but... You do have a lantern, but I can't remember for the life of me how to use it. Pray, light your lantern, master. Yeah, how? What button do I push for that? I don't remember. Well, I am on the right road. So. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. I learned of a forgotten rift stone in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it if you like. Yeah, see, that's why I'm not sprinting, because if, if I sprint, because I can't see more than, like, two feet in front of me, I'll probably end up running right off the bridge. end up running off a cliff by mistake or something. We'll get there eventually. That wasn't a homecoming. 
thought that such tranquility could last. Indeed, you are correct. All right, we made it. So I don't know, Dark, how many how many parts do you think this playthrough is going to be? Like 50? <laughs> what do you think is going to take longer, Skyrim or uh, Dragon's Dogma 2? If I had to take a guess, oh man, I mean, it's obviously, it's hard to say because I don't know how many main quests this game has, obviously. And, um, considering the game just came out yesterday, nobody's beaten it yet. Um, and yeah, I mean, Skyrim's pretty freaking long, and I don't know, I mean, it also depends on how many side quests I end up doing, you know? It obviously plays a factor into the length of time it's going to take as well. Hard to say. I'm going to still say Skyrim's going to end up taking me longer. I think Skyrim's still going to be a longer game. Because I added a bunch of quests and stuff too on top of that with the mods. So it's even longer than the base game. And the base game was quite long. Restricted entry. There are locations that are entirely off limits and others to which you will only be permitted entry at specific times of day. For instance, if a guard catches you on the palace grounds at night, you will be apprehended and thrown in gal for trespassing. There are also certain locations that forbid pawns from entering the premises altogether. Masquerades are regularly held in Vernworth Castle's Masquerade Hall and may afford you an opportunity to make the acquaintance of important individuals, however. Uh, masquerades are formal occasions you will only be permitted to attend if you are wearing suitable attire. Destination. We cannot follow. But so you can't go in there, okay. Awaited. It's a restricted area, okay. At least it's restricted for now, anyway. This is a big city, man. Damn. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. Well, now I know what's up there. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? What a delight. What is that going to do? <laughs> Time to get drunk. Well, 
Okay, it's interesting how people just suddenly spawn in right in front of you. That's a lot of gold just for one round. There's not that many people here. There's a few, but... So I guess that's just to watch uh, animation play and then that's it. Nothing else really comes of that. Okay. So that's if you just want to throw all your gold down the drain. And you can just do that over and over again. Let me in, shithead. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that, since I don't really need that. Let's see what else I can put in storage for now. A garment fashioned from supple uh, fabric that stretches to accommodate the wear and mass signs of wear and tear. Rest oh, until morning. Rest, I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Yeah, nighttime is just ridiculously dark. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Alright. Let's keep it pushing here. So off to the next area. Guess we'll head that way. See what's down there. What does this say? Shall we take a closer look? Follow me, Master. Our next task awaits. Yeah, I like that you can just have her to make for our you. Destination. Catnip oh. tea? No, not yet. <laughs> the soldiers delivering freight were last espied near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. No, because I know if I drink that, I'm going to pass out. I'm not ready for bed just yet. I gotta tell you though, man, I mean this um this diet that I put myself on, it's really uh it's really boosted my energy, boosted my mood, I'm sleeping better. I feel better. Doing really good. Wow, she is a sprinter. We've got goblins. I see that. Been 
No, I didn't want to grab him. Throw him at the other enemy. <laughs> Dare I say it? We trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Pray, follow what the me. Fuck? What's going on here? Wow. That was superb, Arisen. Oh, shit. Do not engage that. Do not engage. Retreat, you fools. I shall gladly oblige. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my... Okay, shut up. Heal me. There we go. Oh, bandits. Trying to make off with her. Well, he's trying to run up a cliff, so I don't think that's going to work out too well for him. I thought that was a bandit. <laughs> I think that's a pawn. I thought that was a bandit. Doesn't even give me any uh, ability to talk to him. Oh, there it is. He looked like a bandit to me. I have no idea why he was trying to run up a cliff. Yeah, the first game had a lot more bandits, actually. This game has a lot more of the goblins. <laughs>
More of them? A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Wow. Was not sure about that. Grab that one. I shan't let them harm you. I want to grab one of them and yeah, there we go. I want to throw them off the ledge. Ingenious. My own master must hear of this tactic. <laughs> Truly? The Arisen enjoys traveling in the company of beastrums. I'd wager there's all to be found here. We hmm, it seems this player is a furry. <laughs> That's really what she's trying to say. Oh, more bandits, huh? Dane camping kit. Kit that can be used instead of camp at its suitable locations, equipped to serve its basic purpose and not more. Over here, if you would.
You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. in the ass. of me than I would have liked. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Over here, if you please. Wolves, master! <laughs> I did my best to match your skill, Master. So what's over here by this little, uh, this yellow circle over here? What's inside of this? Is where I'm supposed to go? Protect the shipment! Oh shit. to our aid. That was a tight spot you saved us from. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. Nice. Over here, if you would. Interesting random encounter there. along at your own pace, Master. I shan't leave you behind. Yeah, I need to head back to town and, uh, unload some of this shit. See if I can sell some of it.
over here, if you please. Oh, don't tell me I already killed that thing. Okay, no. <laughs> Good. Come, I'll lead the way. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the services of an ox guard. Oh, it is a ways away. Oh, no. A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. I say we head back to town. This journey looks to be a long one. Yet again. What say we make things easier on ourselves by seeking an oxcart services? Indeed, you are correct. I do like how they interact with the, with one another, though. They actually are saying things that are kind of relevant this time around, whereas they didn't really do that in the first one. They just kind of rambled on and repeated themselves over and over and over again. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? We cannot break it from this side. Really now? Get back to town, rest again, unload some of this stuff, and then do that final little quest down there. See if I can, uh... Change out some things too. See if I can upgrade my uh, my vocation skills. I've leveled up a good bit, so I should be able to. That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin. All of it. Or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? Hmm? Oh, tis you. You're the good sir who aided me in Malv. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. Hmm. I didn't expect to see her again. So where was that one vendor who was having the, the coin problems? Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen. Tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. 
pray. Make good use of it, won't you? Oh, sweet. Welcome. Well, what do you have in stock? Met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off all to you buy. So spend away, my good sir. Oh, wow, a 20% discount. Nice. Ooh, awesome. Okay, so he sells health items. And now I get him for a 20% discount because I uh, gave that girl the medicine that she needed. Apparently has plenty of oil, yeah, because I don't know how to freaking use it. <laughs> I don't remember the button to use. I'm going to have to go back and watch part one, the, the beginning of it, to see what button it says to use. Because I, I tried every button I could think of, I couldn't get it to light. I don't remember how to use the damn thing. Be used to enhance equipment, so I don't want to sell this stuff. Do come again. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah. Oh. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves, and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. Hmm, yeah, the silver ore allows me to increase this, upgrade this. Okay. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. How do you change the, uh, how do you upgrade the vocation again? I can't remember. Vocation Guild, here we go. Okay, the, the dagger symbol on the map. Inside here? Oh, this is where the inn's at, okay. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all... We must rest, though the sun is still up. Good morrow, everyone.
Ah, right downstairs. Here it is. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Fire equipped skills. There we go. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff I can do now. Excellent. Husk Toss, Steel Foundation, Enhanced Counter. When using Defend, Well Enchanted automatically counters with an elemental attack corresponding to the enchantment. Augments your physical defense, increases the likelihood of being targeted by foes. Definitely want that. Uses the shield to ease the impact from falling. Reduces fall damage and hastens recovery after a fall. Press RB when falling from a height. Nice. That's cool. Parry. Definitely want that. Increases a grand skyward arc with the blade. Sending lightweight targets flying into the air. Hold X, then release. An advanced form of Blink Strike that allows the user to travel further and more swiftly before visiting a powerful blow upon foes. Burst Strike is the upgrade to Blink Strike. See what I can do with the main pawn. Yeah, because I haven't upgraded anything with them yet. Augment your magic defense. Let's get that. Beatitude increases the amount of health recovered by curatives and curative magics. Nice. Fires a condensed magical burst that differs based on active enchantment. Fix spell greatly hastens incarnation speed, consumes stamina while active. Levitate manipulates the caster's weight through magical means, allowing them to float temporarily. Hmm. Well, I guess we might as well just get all of them. You just use them at at their will. High Flagration. An advanced form of flagration that unleashes a more powerful jet of flame. Press the assign button to begin incineating. And press it again while the in incarnation is com uh, complete to cast. While casting, use the right stick to change direction. So what's the uh, upgrade for it? Like, how does it, is it just quicker to start up, or is it uh, does it shoot further, or does it deal more damage, or all of the above? Like, it says it's more powerful, so I guess it just deals more damage. Lightning spells, fire spells, ice spells, 
holy damage. Conjures a magical sigil that hastens the speed of allies within range. The effect persists for a period of time. Cures the caster and their allies of certain debilitations. Caught fire, frostbite, unconscious, sleep, silence, drenched, and tarred. Well within range. Doesn't really matter what slot I put it in, so... I got one slot open. Guess I'll go with the ice spell. All right, there we go. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members, and we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Hmm. Yeah, I unlocked the warrior vocation. Nice. Great swords and hammers. Warriors use their great swords to effortlessly. Cleave through massive foes. Their strength allows them to withstand attacks and overwhelm the enemy. Well, I do have a great sword. It's in my um, inventory. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. So I guess I gotta go and get this stolen shipment armory, stuff, huh? And we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Whence might we procure such a thing? What's got you in such a good mood? Local armor. I bought you something. Specializations. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial, for they allow the pawn to act independently. This can result in unexpected consequences. However, with a little patience, planning, and due care, specializations can prove very useful and are worth, well worth trying out. If you'd like your pawn to learn a specialization, you, you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire a specialization. A pawn can only acquire one specialization at a time, and learning a new specialization will replace the old one. Consult each specialization's entry for more information about its effects. Enables a pawn to use curatives on the Arisen and other allies on their own initiative. Pawns without the skill are only able to use items on themselves. Okay, well that's perfect for the mage. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Whence might we procure such a thing? So how do I use the damn thing? You could just equip it. Oh, whatever, I'll look into that later. This is so much happening right now. There's like so much going on all at once. Friend, 
Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. I if all were to go awry, twould weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold could compare to a fellow life, eh? All right. According to the guild head, you'll need to procure your own weapon. Yeah, well, here we go. Oh, this one's timed, huh? Well, let me see if I'm powerful enough to do this now. We're to see this letter to Sir Leonard and Mel. Shall we board the ox cart as directed, Master? Yes. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. All right, here we go. Let's see how it goes now. Maybe with these new abilities, I stand a better chance. Oh. So it is random every time. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. If I hire this guy, will they finally stop bothering me? I hope I can count on you in a scrape. The presence of a single mage can turn the tide of battle. Allow me to lend my magics to your cause. The answer would be no, but yeah, there you go. Now I've got... Three companions with me now. Where are you going? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? So if you guys want to chat about anything, well, we're kind of just guarding us. Don't talk about anything. I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh shit. Never mind. The lizard people, they're invading. Oh yeah, look, I got haste on me now, nice. So I know the the way to deal with these guys, you gotta cut the tail off, sever the tail. 
and they're drastically weaker. That's how they work in the first game. Looks like they work the same here. Nice. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Camera angle changes on its own after a bit. Drink, drink of my water here. Liking the new abilities. That haste is a godsend. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Give me for 
for being a burden, Arisen. I knew that I could count upon your strength, Arisen. Haven't you a Lenten Arisen? Certainly Arisen. How might I be of aid? Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. We should be able to move this body without the fire fight. Would anyone care to push? <laughs> we'll pull through yet. You lost your mind. Okay. Okay. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. I could look upon this sky for all eternity, if it wasn't for the crick in my neck. Keep gazing upward, and you'll like to stumble ere long. I like how the sword just kind of pierces right through the wood there. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Yeah, so to my surprise, Digital Foundry was quick to cover this game. They had already done it. I didn't think they'd get to it as quick as they did. thought it would have took a couple days, but... Oh. They're on top of it. They already released it yesterday. Day of its release. See, I know when uh, when he starts speeding up, that's when I know something's happening. I haven't watched the whole video yet, but I will. are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. It's like goblins up ahead. I'll not take that from you. Yep. Goblins, master. <laughs>
It's no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Oh, really? You don't own. say. I wonder who that might be. This is like the longest quest ever. <laughs> it just never ends. Jeez. Good way to level up, I guess. You gotta be patient with an RPG, man. You really do. It looks like enemies ahead. Unless it's a human. Hard to tell, it's so dark. Oh, it is a, a human. The head there. Okay, thought it was another enemy. We well, might be close to our destination finally then. Yon chest is in a place not easily accessed. Tis a vexing thing, to see it so plainly and yet to be unable to open it. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Starting to fall asleep here. <laughs> the epitome of excitement. <laughs> it just never ends, man. A never ending journey. Traveling in real time. Don't worry guys, just uh just a few more hours of this and then we'll be done. And we'll be ready to move on to the next quest. The next the next fetch quest. Decisions, decisions. Fretting will get us nowhere. Let us pick a path 
and see where it takes us. Whoa, what the hell was that? The head there, did you see that? It's like a flash of light. Stand strong! Goblins approach! Now there's no debilitation of purity, help me. Huh, oh, dragging the goblin along. What the hell? Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. Skeletons. Okay. New foe here. Monster seems to have dropped something. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. <laughs> Seem to have some serious pathfinding problems sometimes. Pray, light your lantern, Master. I don't remember how, damn it. Actually, the excuse I'm going to use is I don't want to light my fur on fire by mistake. That's what it is. I just don't want to light my fur on fire. So I, I, I should never use a lantern. Yes. 
Over so soon? Why, oh, we seem to have come through unscathed. We at now. Jeez. Here we are. The ox cart made it without too much trouble. Mayhap we can. You sure about that? Our next journey. An art. Okay. I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. Pleasure doing business. Hell, if you've there a he spare, I'd like a word. As you can see, we're rebuilding a task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. A Saurian nest so near the village is worrying indeed. Let us see the explosive casks there as quickly as we may. Right you are. Okay, but can I give him the letter? I. what can I do for you? There we go. Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? There's a fair way you've come, then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. We'd best report back. He really ought to have returned by now. This ladder can take us to new heights. We ought to put it to good use. Imagine the view from up here. Trey, you can actually to... use this? Might I 
should be a resistance. Oh wow, I didn't think they'd be able to use this. Leave it to me. Oh, that's too cool. That could come in handy. I'll have to remember that. You can actually use those. Turn by now. May have this time I went looking for it. I couldn't live with myself. Must you run so fast? Keep you in my Take spot. care of that before we head back out. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths Here we go. wherever possible. <laughs> so they're over here. now they're down there sleeping I should be able to actually throw these from over there that way if one doesn't quite do the trick I can have I got more of them That Lady Margaret's a kindly sort. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer clear of the village boundary in future. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that water on a daily basis. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. 
You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest, and your task is done. Now we are to throw a jar of poison. Be sure to handle it with care, Master. Right here. They're a useful ingredient. What happens, I wonder, if you do end up dropping it into the river? Ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Just out of curiosity, what happens? Your aim. <laughs> you can actually fail it. I wonder if that auto saved there. That's hilarious, though. <laughs> oh no! It actually, you can actually um, screw it up. It auto saves as soon as you fail. <laughs> I could do this all day. Oh wow! So if you fuck up, then that's it. Well, that's kind of lame, honestly. I was just curious what would happen. You've done as I asked. I see. Many thanks for your efforts. Ah, uh, not exactly. I say your aim could use some work. All the same, that poison should keep the beasts at bay for the time being. Watching you got me thinking. It may hap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> he doesn't even care. <laughs> or perhaps it is a little early for such time. They're all gonna die. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. It is done. Wow. Huzzah! You've done it! A laudable result. Yeah. Just I've done it all right. We mustn't grow That's people. hilarious. Doesn't even matter. Wow. But steal ourselves for the trials to come. Well, they're all going to get poisoned and they're all going to die. Oh well. Good work. You've done a great service. This ladder can take us to new heights. We ought to put it to good use. It's the thought that counts, right? I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle. I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. He's traveled zero. Time of our parting is come. Thank you for everything. Yeah, you're not a furry. You're not welcome in my crew. Get the fuck out of here. All right. <laughs> All right. Um.
Ooh, and Snare. I remember that being a great ability in the first game. I remember that one. I see you recognize my worth, Arisen. I suppose I should consider myself honored to serve. Ah, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness spores can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. Indeed. Well, we shall have to remain watchful, lest one of our company should start showing signs of this sickness. Hmm. Okay. Explosive arrows. Let's head to this town over here. Uh, pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay, good for you. I don't like how they constantly stop you to bug you about hiring them. It's really annoying. Would you care to behold a forgotten rift stone as yet undiscovered in this world? Then follow me. It isn't far. Over so soon? Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the world. Efficiency at its best. Let us try for the same results with our next attack. Pray, follow me. Goblins approach! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness.
a different destination in mind, Master. Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. Tis not for us to gain the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Cloudward Slash, an advanced form of Airward Slash that reaches greater heights and inflicts greater harm, also unplayable in mid-air. Nice. We must rest. Though the sun is still up. Journey impressed upon me how vast the world truly is. I uncovered much, venturing to places dangerous and remote. I shall strive to apply these experiences to our own journey. Nice. Sweet. Somebody uh, employed my uh, pawn. Okay. And they gave me a strawberry. Well, how thoughtful. Beautiful Joe. And Chabu. Chabu, is it? Was that? Did they really take that name from um, Final Fantasy X? Waka's brother? I wonder. Is that a new pawn quest? Sure. Okay, so a modest camping kit. Anybody who employs my pawn will get a modest camping kit. Because <laughs> I don't need it. I got the Explorer's camping kit, which is better. Ah, uh, you can't. You have to set something? That's lame. Okay, never mind then. I don't care. All I've learned, I shall turn to your service, Arisen. Shall we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come, we've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. Well met. What about this place for the nobleman? You'll be pleased with my quality, sir, I do assure. Not much going on hereabouts. Hail, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Ocado. 
To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The hive can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure. Let us make haste, that no life may be lost on our account. Sir Ocado is in need of our aid. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Coming across a lot of side quests. Just yon Is that all of them? Yeah, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back. But I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Yeah, uh, you'll probably be dead pretty soon. Shall we report our results? A forgotten rift stone. We can't even handle a few flying herpes. It is this way, as I recall, from my last sojourn beyond. Yeah, I know they're called harpies, but I call them herpes. They were in the first game, too. We've arrived, just as planned. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. Nice. That was an easy thousand gold there. I didn't even take any damage from that. None of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. So, the path splits here. Fretting will get us nowhere. Let us pick a path and see where it takes us.
I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. You best make yourself scarce. Oh, yeah. This ox cart's bound for Burnworth. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Come to think of it, different masters favor different horns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. <laughs> Each to their own. All right, off we go. Fast forward here. Hey, what's up, Sheldon? Or, uh, Ponte? You ask, where is Sheldon? Um, he was here earlier. I don't know. He might still be here, lurking. I don't know. This might be worth a read. Let's have a look, then. Well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn. Oh, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the... I'm watching Shrek Part 2 in my diaper. Nice. It's been, man, it's been a long time since I uh, watched any kind of Shrek movie. Lighten up my um, inventory a little bit. See if I can get rid of some stuff I don't need. The foremost hospitality in all. Much obliged. Yeah, I want to use this. The tomb that grants upon the Turgeon specialization, allowing them to use curatives on their arisen and other allies on their own initiative. Main pawn acquired the Curagen specialization. Nice. Got an achievement for that too. A pawn of many talents. Taught your pawn a specialization. The goblin's lair lies somewhere along the western road. Western I hope road. I aught from the fiends. It would bring me peace of mind to know someone taught them a lesson at least. They got some new uh, weapons in here. Still not as good as what I have right now, though.
<laughs> oh, jeez. Delonte says I had to break ties with the YouTuber Retro Gaming Star, aka. He's still changing his name every other day, huh? Valkyrie Gaming Star, because. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care if they're talking garbage. Who cares? It's all they know is drama. Yeah, so this is a pretty good weapon. If I upgrade this, this will definitely be better than what I have right now. Brutish sword for brutish work. Its spike guard and razor sharp blade are designed for survival, not appearances. That's pretty funny that uh, they're still crying about us on their streams, though. That's pretty funny. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Probably desperate for me to try to... Probably desperate because they want me to get re-involved in their nonsense, and I just don't really care. So, let them say what they want. I don't pay any attention to them, so... I'm just going to keep doing my own thing. They want to sit around and slander us and... Whatever. We can't make our way over to it. Has no effect on me or my content. Okay, so the West Road. Why is the mine marked here, though? Are they all the way down there at the mine? I wouldn't think it would be that far down. I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Would seem the Queen Regent yeah, he claims that we attacked him first. Well, that's a lie. I, should... I haven't attacked him at all. I have no idea what he's talking about. He came onto my Discord server, like, a couple months back. Have we purchased all the and required? me and him talked, and he was basically like, we just kind of agreed to disagree, I guess. And we just kind of moved on. I, I apologize for anything I said about him, and that was it. I don't know why he's randomly going on about me. I have no idea. I haven't, I haven't been paying any attention to him. I haven't talked about him. I haven't been watching his content. I've been leaving everybody alone. I've been doing my own thing. So, I don't know what his issue is. If that's the case, then whatever. That's his problem. It has nothing to do with me or my content, so I really don't care. Yeah, it's best to just ignore those people, Delante. They seem like they just can't get out of the drama. They're trying to... I guess maybe they're trying to rope me back into it. I don't know. Um, I don't pay any attention to any of them, so... Are we leaving already? <laughs> Bother. I was just getting warmed up. Why is this guy carrying a boulder? What the hell? What's he doing? Yeah, that ability is great. Character is definitely getting stronger, that's for sure. In another world, I learned that a forgotten riftstone lies nearby. 
Shall I escort you there, Master? Yeah, lead the way. Hey, there's Sheldon. Yeah, he's still around. Whoa. I didn't realize there was an explosive barrel in there. Well, that didn't last long at all. This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. My profile picture hasn't I changed and probably will never change. To remain by your side. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to change all, mine either. I follow your lead and prioritize support. Kind-hearted. I don't really need any more support pawns. I don't know if I can get a, another one. On top of what I already have. But I really don't think I need any more. I think I'm good. Yeah, okay, apparently this cave is where their, their lair is. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to change my profile picture either. This is the same one I had since the, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, this is the same profile picture I had since I started. And with Twitch, I've had it for about over a year now as well. I haven't really done anything to change my uh, profiles or anything. At least not the profile pictures. I haven't changed them at all in over a year. Any one of them. We would be ill-advised to proceed without light. We've got light. There's torches on the walls. I haven't explored down here. According to the mini map. Me thinks we could move this boulder if we work together. A firm push is what's needed here. Goblins, master. I see that. Nicely done. I can do no less than service to the original. Splendid. Douse the flames before it is too late. <laughs>
You changed your C or Xbox 360 profile picture? Nice. Let me scroll up here and see what's going on in the chat. Dark Blizzard. Are you trying to get him to change his uh, name again? Yeah, see, I can't see your guys' profile pictures on my chat screen here on OBS. So I just kind of... Yeah, Blizzard, yeah. I just kind of have to imagine, like, what you guys are describing. So is that it? Was that all of them? They claim that they they stole the equipment, right? I haven't I haven't found any equipment. broke my back. <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah, you sure did show that wall who's boss. Yeah, I don't see any kind of equipment or anything over A here. Common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Ooh, I haven't been in here yet. Is the strange ah. sort that ventures willingly into darkness. Aha, uh -huh, I found an arch staff. Nice. Now I gotta find the uh, a great sword in here, right? It could be anywhere in here. You got it hidden away somewhere. Somewhere in these caves. Nice. Instant kill. No mercy.
to think I'd be caught unawares. I am shamed. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Where is that greatsword at? Still don't know why there's an explanation point here. Oh, I can activate this, huh? Will that do anything? Anything of it is about time we press value on. for doing that, or <laughs> master? Thought maybe it would smash a smash something in the wall or something. Maybe it would trigger something. Seem to have some kind of importance since I had an explanation point over it. So I thought maybe I was supposed to do that. An unlikely location for a path. Watch for the hog goblin. Aha. Uh -huh. Found it. Ring of cooling. Never mind, it wasn't what I was looking for, but it is curious. Ring the grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with its magic. Reduces damage taken from fire attacks. Okay. Rather keep what I have on now, though. But can I give that to... I'd rather give it to my main pawn. There we go. Well, it's not what I was looking for, but it was something at least. More silver ore. That's where I originally got that. You got change, Sheldon? Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here in a... Yeah. Somewhat wet. Crinkles. Still got lots of life in it, though. <laughs> Probably gonna be wandering around in this cave for a while, though. I must confess, naught rattles me quite so much as the unexpected snuffing of my lantern light. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar. What, the sound of me falling on my face? It is an item of exceptional Ooh, rarity. I cannot wait to tell my own master of its existence.
Gotta be here. That great sword has to be here. I mean, I don't really need it, though, because I do already have a great sword. It was just the arch staff that I needed. is radiant this night. I feel at peace to gaze upon it. Tis as you say. Out of the cave at last. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. Back to not being able to see a damn thing. To get back to the uh, capital here. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Oh shit! I almost fell off the bridge. <laughs> yeah, you can't see a damn thing, man. Crazy. The hell is that? What the fuck? Yeah, I remember you need you. Yeah, you actually have to. You pretty much have to have a mage to kill these things, because physical attacks do like almost no damage. I remember these now. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Zombies. Hold fast, Arisen. I shan't let you fall. You must remain calm, else all will be lost. I cannot fall to flowers. Nice of you to say so. These were also in the uh, first game. I don't think there's even any new enemies, right? I don't think so. So far I haven't encountered any new ones. 
all of these enemies were also in the uh, first game. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh, it's raining. First time I've seen rain in the game. Vernworth never fails to take the breath away. We are not truly safe, even here. Remain alert till we are within the city proper. I quite agree. Should get inside. I don't want to get my fur all wet. so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. Oh, they can't. They can't go into the royal quarters. Guess I can, though. ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Deliver any type of, of great sword, okay? Then? Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of he runs the local armory. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Yeah, so I gotta get to the um I gotta go to the inn and grab that from the uh inventory. Peruse at weary at this hour, sir. You must have quite a tale to tell. You know where to find me. Making our report ought to be our next priority. Skyrim vibes, yeah. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Oh ho! You have procured an archer staff, I see. Most excellent. You may now change your vocation to sorcerer, if it pleases you, sir. However, if you wish to register as a warrior instead, you will need to acquire a great sword. Well, it just so happens that I have that too. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Marvelous. You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. It would seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. Outstanding. A job well done. Our efforts have been rewarded. The letter has reached its recipient. Shall we inform Sir Donovan, Master? Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. Yeah, he's right here in town. 
Now we shan't lose our pale hey, friend. Have you a spare moment? I've an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week, with no one slated to mind the house in my stead. Fear not, I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't expect you to stay cooped up in there, neither. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. Sound appealing? Then come on by and have a look-see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. Okay. Place to call home, so you can get a home in this, huh? Really? You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you needn't worry about tending to the place. Hey, you stranger, come stay at my house for a week. Don't you don't need to bother cleaning it or anything either. Yeah, it doesn't seem strange at all, does it? Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time, but till then, farewell. We will find much better rest in an abode than out in the elements, methinks. Let us make good use of it while we can. True. True enough. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Nice. Saved me a good bit of money there. Has reached its recipient. Shall we inform Sir Donovan, Master? I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray, follow me. We're in your the dude house, looks sir. like Kratos. Yeah, if Kratos was a was a furry. Then yeah, this would be my character for sure. <laughs> All right, where's Donovan at? Oh, there he is. How did you fare on the journey to Mel? Splendid. You've been an immense help, I must say. I like how he shakes off too in the rain. It even vibrated my controller a little bit when my character did that when he shook himself off. <laughs> reached its destination safe and cool. Sound. And from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> You've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Here you are. Oxcarts seem a convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed. You have my support. Let us proceed to the next location. Shall I lead? You've been given three tasks to call the. Oh yeah, yeah, we got that last one to take care of, huh? Whoa, I got 21,000 gold now. Nice. I've been racking up that gold from doing all these quests. We were to make for Har Village, as I recall. I'm going to save up. I have a feeling I'm going to need it for later. We have a long journey ahead of us. We ought to employ an ox guard to save our strength. True enough. Mm, that is true. We could just take a card. It's not like money's a problem now. Only 100 gold. Save us a long time. What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Vermouth now. He's eager. I'll give him that. Expedition, sword drills. Say the word and he'll join in at a moment's notice. Say, you look experienced. 
You should talk to the lad. I'm sure he'll be glad of a bit of guidance. This ox cart's bound for Melv. Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. There's a ladder here. Ah, excellent find. I don't know if that's gonna actually get me closer to where I need to go. I guess we'll find out where Melv is. I don't remember exactly where that is on the map. Oh shit. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. Two wolves, you had to wake me up for that? No, this is taking me the opposite way. Oh, there's Melv. No, it's taking me further than where I need to go. Oh, shit. Well, I guess we're going to Melv then. I had a feeling it was further off than where I was actually wanting to go. Well, is there anything else here? I mean, while I'm here, is there any any other points of interest on the map here in this town? Oh, this is Lenard's house. Oh, he's got gold on the table. You can just take his gold if you want. <laughs> Yeah, I just love how in every RPG ever, you can just ransack through people's houses. And most of the time, you know, in most games, they don't even give a shit either. You're just like, yeah, just come on in, just take all my shit. It's fine. I guess the one uh, exception to that rule would be uh, Fable. I mean, you can still ransack people's houses, but they actually... Turns out they don't like it when you ransack their houses. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else here, though. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation. I guess so. I am considering changing my vocation to the uh, myself, but to the warrior. I think I'm going to do that. I got an achievement for that too. Versatile. Change your vocation. Fundamentals of battle. Warriors are at their best when fighting at the vanguard, cutting down foes with a single swing of their greatsword and charging through the enemy ranks without heeding their blows. Their attacks cleave a wide and devastating arc, but their movements are slow and stout as they are. They cannot withstand an onslaught indefinitely without aid. Charge slash. Hold down... Uh, X before unleashing an attack to charge up your strength, charging the attack to a charge slash and dealing greater damage. A warrior need not fear the enemy blows while charging up their strength, as they have increased resistances and are less likely to flinch for the duration. Press barge. Press RB to use barge. When it la what it lacks in power, it makes up for in swiftness and can also be used as a follow-up attack after a strike with the greatsword. A warrior should barge their enemies without fear. 
as they have increased resistances and are less likely to flinch for the duration, giving them ample opportunity to counter. Follow-up attacks. When you land an attack using Y, it will change to a powerful successive strike if 1. the target is downed or knocked off balance, or 2. the target is not expecting the attack. Powerful successive strikes should be carefully aimed, as they leave you vulnerable. Give me some starting armor to work with there. Ball work. Reduces damage taken from hostile targets during a charged attack. Skyward Sunder jumps up and slashes upward simultaneously, swinging the blade in midair, can be charged prior to unleashing. Hold the assigned button to charge and release to activate. Does your character speak? No, your character doesn't speak in this. Your character is a mute. Again, pretty similar to Skyrim in that regard, too, I guess. Shouts to draw the attention of hostile targets in the vicinity. Rending Sweep. Spins the blade with enough force to cut down foes in all directions. Can be charged prior to unleashing. Let's go with that. Enough of that, me. Did you need something? Always a pleasure. Our foes will quail in the wake of your fearsome blows, Master. You need only focus. And okay, now on he looks like weapon. Kratos. We shall <laughs> wow. Oh, here we are. The ox cart made it without too much trouble. There are worse ways to travel, I suppose. No ability to take another ox cart from here, huh? Oh, no, never mind.
Uh, this guy's stuck inside of the cart. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. Yeah, I wonder why. Maybe it's because you're stuck inside of the cart. Oxcart service hours. Most carts depart in the early morning, but if you arrive too late or too early, you can pass the time till the next departure at the Oxcart station. How stupid is that? Hey, I guess we gotta sit here and wait then. This ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Wow, they spawned way up ahead here. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Alright, full health. Alright, let's set off here and finish that last quest down there. I gotta go through that, cross that bridge. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Go away. Leave me alone. This ladder is here. All these damn beggars trying to, to, put it to good give me to hire them. Oh, there goes a guy with a lot of money. Quick, hire. Let, let's see if we can get hired by him. Alright, here we go. Place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. Sons of Lion. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. Really now, what are you doing? You ought not to be so careless. This calls for a cure.
Yon oxcart is broken beyond repair. Wrought by the hands of brigands. Or the claws of monsters. We must remain vigilant. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. I be obeyed. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. And uh, before I forget, gallant means abound in our party, and naturally so, for we are bestrewn many. It is of little import. We shall serve the Arisen faithfully, no matter our age. It is dark enough to warrant the use of your lantern, Master. We're actually tearing him up now.
Let us watch our drone carefully to determine our best. Enemies perhaps we have tired them out. We must not give them a chance to recover. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. Charge attacks do a decent chunk of damage. It's done. Good stuff. Since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, the early gripping gets the worm, as they say. These beams are only truly defeated when their skulls are snapped beyond repair. Is this another town? <laughs> village. Or what's left of a village. Something happened here. Take that. We might find a use for it. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Come to a dangerous place. Scaly beasts make this their den. We've been dispatched to cull them. A small force ventured inside, though I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. Seems the battle is hard won. I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. What a coward. It was a surprise to find someone living out here, and an old man at that. I wonder what so impels him to set out to sea. Curious, isn't it? Perhaps we will understand more in time. We're unlikely to find any warm hearths down here. Tread carefully. One never can be too cautious. Understood. Fine. There's a haze over my eyes. 
Can anyone hear me? We need help. I don't want to fall here. Oh, damn, listen. Is this room to draw my last? I'm Sonic. your debt, sir. Thanks to your valor, I shall live to fight another day. What's further down here? It's more ore. You don't see that every day. I imagine my master would faint were I to return beyond the rift with it. A chest. I'll examine it. Savagery extract. Well, that's the end of that. Holy shit. The lizard people are no joke. Yeah, see, that's why I don't use any of those abilities that just uh, draws enemy attacks to you. You want them to spread out their attacks. Our work is not yet done. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here? There we go. We have no means of exploiting our enemies' weakness. Well done. Fall back, and I will heal you with the magic. Wait right there. Okay, knocked him off the edge there. to save us forgive me i cannot seem to walk of my own accord just now would you aid me in reaching the entrance it is done splendid Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? If a ranged attack, you can count on it. Might I be of assistance? It is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. Berry stone. I wow. Over there. I would gladly be of aid, Arisen. We would be ill-advised to proceed without light. You 
went in there to save my fellow soldiers. Well now, I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You've done well this day. I thank you. We'll see to the rest of this mess. You need not trouble yourself further. Hold, sir. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Hmm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village, but it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past, thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bosk of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah, but mayhap they needn't at all. You are the Arisen, I. Could we trouble you to aid us in our hour of need? Please, sir, do something, anything about the Saurians infesting our village. Saurians abound, Master. Be on your guard. Careful now! Damn. This creature is hard as stone. Making it my day, crossing with our other foes. My curative of magic, so it's not disposal. Holy shit. Well, that was a new ability. I had never seen before. Don't we have a report to make, Master? It looked like he used his sword and drew it right into a, the lizard's mouth and then swung him, threw him over into the wall. That was nuts. Over here, if you would. The old man is strange in word and deed, yet I can't quite bring myself to dismiss his tales for all that. Curious, isn't it? Perhaps we will understand more in time. It is dark enough to warrant the use of your lantern, Master. Yeah, we had Let to fight a puddle of uh, goo. What the hell that was? That might be a new enemy in this. I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing those things. You're soaked. Do you try not to catch cold? Well done. I'm attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain. Ash. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Bear in mind that the group will see how. 
Holy shit. That ability is fucking amazing. Let us see what you made of. Oh, make them pay for that. It seems we have enraged our foes. Why do we not use the rage to our advantage? Right up the ass.
Oh, damn. Well timed on his part. of a fight. Ah, uh, Delonte, what the hell, man? Pushing on without rest isn't ideal. Why do you do that? On my feet. I only hope we don't encounter any foes. This battle couldn't have come at the worst time. I only hope our victory is a swift one. You had best rid yourself of that slime with all due force. This creature is hard as stone, making it ideal for tossing it down other foes. Because there's a bunch of Karens that live here and they go through my trash looking for my marijuana roaches and my diapers. I thought you were getting kicked out anyways, though. I thought you were going to be getting your own apartment. So at this point, what does it matter if you break the rules? What, like, what does it matter? If they're gonna kick you out anyway. Am I the first to notice we've all got different... Well, do you want to stay until the first? Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Is there any way to climb up? I'm not sure what you'll find, but it might be something useful. This should be of use. Stay until the first or sleep outside? Well, when are you getting your own apartment? I knew that I could count upon your strength, Arisen. One of us has been doused in slime! That lizard just throw up on me. Oh, you get the keys on the first? Oh, okay. I nice. I forgotten rift stone in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it, if you like.
one might confidently call that a resounding victory. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. You work 80 so you hours a week at Target? Dude, that is a lot of hours to be, to be working at something like that. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. Well, you can definitely afford your own apartment if you're working that many hours. Jesus. Oh, you meant 40? Okay, I was going to say, Jesus Christ. Eighty hours per pay period. Okay, yeah. So you work you work forty hours. Okay. Standard full time position then. Where the Cyclops master? Oh, jeez. Just that on me. Let's just see if I can knock off his armor. There we go. Can't even get up. Jeez. Come on, we got this. 
For Prince, I'm not going to have a lot of spare money anymore, so maybe I can't afford as many Crinkles diapers anymore. Yeah, diapers can be very expensive, for sure. We got this, we got this. Yes. Now I can report a successful hunt. Splendid. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. So, uh, Delante, do you wear them like 24 7? Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence. If so, then yeah, I can definitely see why that would be getting pretty expensive for you. The drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Each to their own. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Well, to, le to each their own, Delante. Well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn, a place of respite for the weary. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Wow. Tonic known to heal any and all ailments. Consume it to recover an astonishing amount of both stamina and health and cure all current debilitations. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't have to do that. I could have just went to that... that house. 
slept for free. Good morrow, everyone. Oh well. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. See if I can come to increase anything here. Locations. While it is admirable to devote yourself to a single pursuit, there can be no harm in trying something new. Particularly if you are eligible for a special vocation. Heretofore unseen opportunities of exciting potential. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ladder launch enables users to plant their feet and launch an ally into the air from their shoulders. <laughs> huh. Revivify. Gives the user a second wind, curing them of some debilitations, caught fire, frostbite, sleep, silence, and unconscious. Increases your maximum health. Yeah, with your Agments, you can actually use these with any any class. So if you acquire, like for example, this one was acquired with the Fighter class, but I can still use it with the Warrior class. So that's pretty cool. Chain of Blows employs the user's momentum to unleash an additional Mighty Sweep. When using Mighty Sweep, press X the moment the blade reaches the end of its arc. Breakneck Strike enables a charge attack to inflict greater harm by unleashing... At the very instant it is fully charged. During a charged attack, press the activation button the instant the attack is fully charged. Do come again. Come, I'll lead the way. Okay, let me see what um what items we have here. We've got plenty of gold, so let me see what I can buy. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the prop. Yeah, I want to get the Guardian Plate Armor. Hell yeah. Just remember. Mm. 
Misers die early deaths. And enhance it. Enhance it again. Max out the patroller knee guards. Hope to see you again. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. But our equipment is way better, so who cares? Can hardly be called extravagant. Come take a look. You'll be glad. Now that's pretty cool. Steel urchin. Steel hammer crowned with spikes. Gouges foes even as the sheer weight of the blow knocks them to the dirt. Knockdown power is way higher. It's better on strength. Warblade. A great sword designed for fighting on the front lines. It's tip custom forged for deadly effect. I think I'm going to save up for that. You did. Do come again. There is a chance of being beset by beasts or brigands in an ox cart, but I'm willing to take the risk to put my feet up. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Alright, well, I actually think this is a good place to stop here. So, yeah, good stuff. Made a lot of progress tonight. Upgraded a lot of stuff. Got some side quests done. Not too much with the main quest, but definitely got a lot of progress done, I think. Um... Yeah, did, did, did a few quests, got some side quests done, upgraded equipment, changed some things around, and overall just made a lot of improvements, and I'm definitely getting better at fighting. My character is definitely getting a hell of a lot stronger, so that's great. Um, yeah, that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. This is a lot of fun. I am definitely enjoying the game. Starting to get into it. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, have a good night, Delante. Thanks for tuning in, man. All right. You guys have a good night, and I'll catch you guys later.